Today, we are talking about the Tyrannosaurus Rex. In my last episode about dinosaurs, we looked at the timeline of all of them throughout history. I'll link the dinosaur timeline videos in the description below. Before I go any further, I want to remind you of one of the craziest facts from that video. The T-Rex lived 66 million years after the Stegosaurus. From a comment on my other video from V. Ling, they said, they once drew a cartoon from a biology project in which a T-Rex was sitting at a desk with a white gown on, examining fossil fragments from a Stegosaurus. And that really puts things into perspective. There really was enough time between these two that if the T-Rex could actually get a lab coat over their little arms, they could have studied Stegosaurus bones like we do today. So let's talk about the Tyrannosaurus Rex. We have to travel back 68 million years ago to the late Cretaceous period. Of course, at that time, our planet looked a bit different, but based on the fossils we have found, we know they roam throughout the United States, Canada, and East Asia. Tyrannosaurus rex actually means king of the tyrant lizards. And that's probably a pretty fair name considering they were typically 40 feet long, which if you've ever seen a school bus, then you already have a good idea of their length and they were typically 12 to 20 feet tall, which is about the same height as a giraffe. Of course, not nearly as nice as a giraffe and a bit more intimidating. Also, a giraffe weighs up to 1.9 tons, which sounds like a lot, and I mean, it is a lot, but the T-Rex averaged eight tons. That's 16,000 pounds, and recent discoveries suggest they may have been up to 20,000 pounds, and that's roughly the same weight as stacking six Honda Accords on top of each other. While we have seen this fantastic beast represented many times in films, we have not had the luxury of seeing it use its true power when biting. Because the stiffness of their skulls, they could chop down with enough force to crush a car. Six tons of pressure would travel throughout its body, letting every muscle work together to deliver an unstoppable bite. Their teeth were around 8 to 12 inches long and serrated, like a bunch of steak knives the size of bananas. Well, that's a vision. But these animals really knew how to keep their heads cool. Literally. Much like an alligator, the T-Rex had vents in its head that helped keep its brain cool. And I know a few hotheads that could benefit from skull vents. The Jurassic Park movies led us to believe that they couldn't see unless you moved and essentially made their giant nostrils useless except to blow hats off someone's head. In reality, they could see just fine and actually had an incredible sense of smell. So, even if it was temporarily blinded, it would definitely know you're there with just a quick sniff. In my previous dinosaur episode, I mentioned that the T-Rex lived to be around 30 years old. Based on a discovery in 2020, we now believe that the T-Rex could slow down its growth rate if food was scarce, which gives it a huge competitive advantage. To date, we have found nearly 20 complete T-Rex skeletons. And if you want to see the best example we have, then you need to head to Chicago, Illinois and ask for Sue. No, Sue isn't an employee. That's the name of the T-Rex. She was discovered in South Dakota by paleontologist Sue Hendrickson and then sold for around $7 million back in 1997. It's likely that the T-Rex hunted in packs. Fossilized prints found in Canada showed three of them working together to hunt, but other fossils showed that they often beat each other in the head. So while it was useful for finding food, it wasn't exactly fun to be together. Like living with your siblings for your whole life. <laughs> this dinosaur sounds like prehistoric perfection, but even with millions of years of evolution, it still couldn't move faster than 12 miles per hour. Humans, we max out around 28, and cats and dogs around 30, which left the T-Rex to snack on leftovers and slower animals like the Triceratops. Scientists have used computer models to determine that if the T-Rex ran any faster, to say, catch Dr. Ian Malcolm, then it would have shattered its own bones from the intense pressure. Another downside to these beasts are those tiny little arms that have no evidence of what their purpose was. As amazing and fierce as the Tyrannosaurus Rex was, it wasn't the largest meat eater. No, the largest would be Gigantosaurus, Moposaurus, Spinosaurus, Tyrannotitan, and Carcharodontosaurus. But none of them lived in the same area or at the same time as the T-Rex. So the T-Rex was still king of the castle when it was around. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, let me know in the comments what stood out to you. 
What do you want to see in the next video? And if you haven't yet, go watch the Dinosaur Timeline video in the description down below. As always, thanks for watching and what did you learn today? <laughs>